Coming up, I'll show you how to use Microsoft's free PC manager for Windows, which is a helpful collection of tools to clean up your system and boost your PC's performance. It's a much better alternative than using third-party software like CCleaner. Microsoft PC Manager is available from the Microsoft Store and is compatible with the latest versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you can't find it in the store, it's not available in your region yet. Other than cleaning up your system and boosting performance, it has other features as well, which I'll show you. I did a fresh install to point out a couple things. The first time you launch it, you'll get this window that welcomes you to Microsoft PC Manager. There will be two boxes that are checked. I recommend unchecking both. The first one will automatically start PC Manager when you sign into Windows. There's no need for this. You can just launch it when you need it. And the second one, having it checked, will restore the default settings for Windows. This will include your browser. Microsoft Edge, when you initially set up a computer, is the default. So if you've made another browser your default, having this checked will change the default browser back to Edge. After you've unchecked the boxes, click on Get Started. When you launch it, the home screen gives you shortcuts to its more popular tools. And there's tabs on the left if you want to take a deeper dive into its various tools and functions. We'll go through some of those later on. In PC Boost, there's a big blue Boost button that when clicked will clean up temporary files, system cache, and internet data. Doing this will free up resources and clutter that can lead to a faster and more responsive PC. So we'll do that right now. Using Health Check, we'll do a quick scan of your computer to identify and fix potential issues. If it finds any problems, it'll offer suggestions to enhance the overall health of your PC. As you can see here, it's recommending that we make Microsoft Edge the default browser, so uncheck that. And to auto start the Microsoft PC Manager when the computer boot boots up, so we'll uncheck that. We went over those the very first time you launch PC Manager. You can leave the rest of these checked and click on Proceed. All right, the health check is completed. Click on Done. And it'll show you when it was last checked. Let's go over to Process. Clicking on it will show you a list of running processes sorted by memory usage. You can quickly shut these down for the ones you don't need right now to free up resources by clicking on End and then click end again. This is very similar to what you can do in the Windows Task Manager. Deep Cleanup is similar to PC Boost, but it goes further by tackling system files, browser caches, and it will even remove caches for programs, including Steam and Epic, if you have them installed. Up here in Recommended Items, I would click to open Application Items and System Items. And I would recommend that all are checked. In this example, Brave is not checked, so I'll check it. Let's scroll down. These are all fine, so I'll leave those checked. Let me check the other System Items here. I'll check the box for Steam. Scroll down some more. Spotify, Power Toys, Teams. In fact, most of these could be checked. Let's go back to the top. Clicking on Proceed will clear out about 15 gigabytes of items. This could take a while to complete. For now, so we can move on, I'll click on Cancel. Then click on Done. Turning off programs you don't need freeing up resources when your computer boots up can make your PC start up faster. Let's click on Startup. All this can also be done in the Task Manager. It's a lot more useful doing it here because it offers suggestions of what should be turned on or off. Just click on the toggles for those turned on that you don't need at startup to turn them off. Let's quickly check out the tabs on the left, beginning with Protection. These tools and functions can be found elsewhere on your PC, but this makes it handy to get to them more quickly. You can do a scan for viruses and malware, check for updates to Windows, change the default browser settings and other stuff, including network check to test your network speed and will troubleshoot if there are any issues. Some of these can be run in the PC Manager app itself, while others will link out to the settings app or something else. 
In the Storage tab, in addition to Deep Cleanup mentioned earlier, you can manage your downloaded files, manage duplicate files, and set up Storage Sense to automatically clean up temporary files. An option I like is to manage large files taking up space on my drives. For example, with this one, select the drive, I'll leave it on C, then click to the right of that, which will open a new window. It will search for and find the large files on your computer. To delete anything here, click on it and select the garbage can icon. Confirmation window will pop up. Click permanently delete. Then close it out. If you go into apps, there's process management and startup apps, which are also on the home screen. Deep uninstall is as the name implies, will take things a few steps further than the normal method to uninstall apps. It'll also remove the leftover files along with the registry entries. And there's a link here to the Microsoft Store to download apps, games, desktop themes, and a lot more. When you go into Toolbox, you'll find other tools built into Windows that you can quickly access here to take a screenshot, open the calculator, there's a currency converter, and other stuff. And for the final two here, Restore will want you to revert back to the default settings for their programs. For example here, it wants me to revert back to Bing as the default search engine in Edge. I'm not going to do that. And in Settings, you can turn on their Smart Boost setting to have the PC Manager automatically boost your PC when you're using a high usage of RAM or there's one gigabyte of temporary files. I usually leave that one turned off. In General Settings, you can change the appearance of this app to your system theme, or you can choose light or dark. And there's prompt settings reminders regarding safe downloads, downloaded documents, and deep cleaning for uninstallation of programs. I just leave these turned on. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you out using Microsoft's PC Manager. If it did, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let us know in the comments if you plan to use it. And if you're new to our channel and haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest beginner's guides and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.